Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside. Today we got ourselves a movie review of Assassination Nation, directed by Sam Levinson. This movie takes place in Salem, Massachusetts, and after the entire town gets their personal information leaked online, including photos, browser history, etc., the entire town descends into complete anarchy and is mainly targeting this one teenage girl, played by Odessa Young, who was revealed to have been sending... Dirty pictures to an older married man, and everyone believes she's the one that leaked the information. So it's no coincidence that this movie takes place in Salem of all places because this movie is basically like one modern day witch hunt because, you know, up until the heck everybody seemed perfectly normal and decent, but then once all their private info gets leaked online they all look like pedophiles and monsters because you can see their photos and what kind of porn they like to watch. This movie shows what could possibly happen if an entire town lost all of its private info and that's what really attracted me to it. Everybody in the town goes crazy trying to hunt down who is behind all of this. They take the law into their own hands, they're heavily armed, and they even go as far as to take lives because they're just that desperate to bring this person down, even though the damage is already done. This movie is fantastic looking, it's some of the best cinematography I've seen all year. I was able to admire just the composition of every single shot and frame of this movie, and just thinking about the thought process that had to go into making every single shot just look absolutely stunning. But with that being said, this movie's kind of a drag. I don't sympathize with any of the main characters. Everybody else in the town looks like these completely normal, decent people, but then when their information gets leaked you find out all this weird shit they were into, and it's a bit more shocking when you find out this stuff. But these four main leads, they're all these stereotypical, sex-crazed teenagers that make all these really bad decisions. You know from the very beginning of the movie that Odessa Young's character is flirting with this older gentleman, so it comes to no surprise that it gets revealed and everyone's after her now, so there's just really no sympathy, there's no shock value there, and I really just did not care about any of these main characters. Bill Skarsgård's also in the movie, he has a very minor role, and I thought, okay, cool, Bill Skarsgård, maybe he will have a very nice, you know, very subtle, modest performance here, but no, after a while, he gets scary. I'm not really complaining though, because he was a nice addition. This is a little bit of a nitpick, but some of the audio editing is a bit subpar. There are these moments in the movie where two characters are having a conversation, there's no music or sound effects in there, and you can hear when the audio cuts out and comes back in. Now that's, that's common practice when editing dialogue because you only want to hear when the characters are speaking, not those pauses in between, so what you do to fix that is you get 30 seconds of room tone, which is basically you record the room just for 30 seconds with nobody moving or talking, and you put that over those pauses. Somebody forgot to get the room tone. This movie is a thriller that highlights basically everything that's wrong with 2018, including a bad combination of the internet and bigotry. There is really no escapism here at all, which obviously was not the point, but the movie becomes a bit of a hard pill to swallow because a lot of the things that have happened in this movie have happened in real life. It's a scary world we're living in. When it gets to the point where all of Salem gets their information leaked, the tone gets very grim and stays that way to the very end credits. There are some really nice tense and suspenseful moments throughout the movie, so it is very effective when it needs to be. But I actually had to look away from the screen a few times because the movie was just making me feel fatigued and depressed while I was watching it, which obviously was the point and I do give the movie credit for making me actually feel something. It's all just a bit too heavy for me and it's it's not something I have the overwhelming urge to re-watch ever again. So all in all, Assassination Nation is probably going to be a little bit too real for some people. It's a fantastic looking movie and has some great suspense throughout, but it's just really not something I see myself ever coming back to. So, those are my thoughts on Assassination Nation. If you guys have seen this movie, or if you plan to take down a town by leaking all the info, let me know just down below, and we'll see you on the Black Ops. Yeah.